So I'll briefly run you through what I did on this mix, um, just to keep things transparent and to show you what happened. Um, so talking about uh, um, the distortion effect that I used, I use Easy Mix, and in this case, it was the Gus Blackfire lead that I used um, from Metal Guitar Girls 4. It's, I think the Easy Mix stuff sounds really, really good. And in this case, this one really works for me. Um, so I have that on all three the guitar channels and all the same. Um, what I did that's different from, because you can see that I changed the setting a bit. Um, originally, it's this. So I only put the drive a bit back to not oversaturate the guitars. Um, and then for the chord ones to get more of the illustrer and dark atmosphere from the section, um, I created this curve in Pro Q2 uh, with a little bump around, say, uh, 300 hertz and a, a fairly large cutoff uh, of the high end. Um, yeah, makes it sound a little darker. Um, let me just show you the before and after. So this is with. And bypassed. To get more of that gritty, gritty feel. Um, I didn't do that on the other ones, on the more like lead um, tracks. I left them as they were. I only added extra room to them, uh, to those tracks. Um, so this was the settings that I used. I usually use a separate effects channel for that, For but this was just a quick uh, comparison. And this is what I did there. Um, so yeah, that on both of these channels, so that's pretty much the same. Uh, and then you have the drums. So let me get out of here quickly. Uh, I used Superior Drummer for this and I used the Orchestral Percussion for this one. So um, in this one, I changed the timpani uh, over on this side. It was actually a first set to E flat and I chose the E that matches the key it's in. So. That's pretty much it. And then there's this huge gong that I use as well. You can already hear the distortion um, and that's something I did on purpose. So with the EQ, I boosted the low end a bit because of the more dark low end that uh, the original dissection track has. Um, I added a tube saturation to uh, to the channel, this channel only, uh, just to give it that grittiness that, yeah, well, to me, uh, resembled the original track. And uh, again, I wanted more bass, more oomph in there, so I added a max bass uh, a Waves plugin to uh, the track as well. And that's it, actually. Um, nothing more. I didn't even put a limiter on it for this thing. I was 7 dB under pretty okay. I could have used a limiter to get some more gain out of the track. It doesn't really matter for this comparison. Um, but that is actually all that I've done to the to the track. So uh, I hope you found this comparison a little helpful. It was fun to make and obviously it's great music by uh, this section. Well, thank you for tuning in. See ya. Bye.